Hi Aries and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Aries, this is your weekly sun sign prediction from the 28th of March 2022 and I'm going to be giving you a three card spread today with an overarching energy and a clarify. This is a short, sharp, shiny reading. It is a reading for the collective so please uh, take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're also having a birthday this week, uh, Aries, happy birthday. I know you are now in your season. Um, so I hope you're having a good one wherever you are and whatever you are choosing to do. And for this week's reading as well, I'm using my uh, Fairy Tarot. haven't used this one for a while, but I'm sort of feeling a bit light, a bit whimsical, uh, a little bit mystic uh, because the weather is like really beautiful. And so I feel like I can connect to this deck today. Um, what else? Let's just get started, hey? Uh, let's, get, let's get into it. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides, what does Aries need to know for the week ahead? Thank you so much, Spirit. 28th of March, 2022. Thank you so much, Spirit. Wow, this is really beautiful. You got the Temperance card to start out. Center of the reading, you have the Eight of Swords. And the outcome for the reading is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Wands. This is Leo energy. And let's clarify the reading with on the split you have the king of cups okay all right aries let's have a look here okay thanks for your patience um all right aries so you're starting out here with the temperance card this is a uh, card of sagittarius and this is about finding balance in a situation. Some of you I'm picking up here, there could be uh, some of you here as well. I'm getting a message about drinking, like somebody's um, really wanting to balance that more in their lives. They're, you know, maybe having a glass or two or three glasses of wine every week and they, they're wanting to sort of take a step back from that. I feel like that's a really good move for you as well if you're wanting to sort of obviously keep a clear head with um, decisions that you need to make for the coming week. Um, but also this is about being patient with yourself, um, coming out of a situation as well that may have been a little bit toxic. Um, Temperance card is about sort of, you know, coming out of that, you know, and, and rising above, um, you know, what you may be facing or what you may have to bear uh, coming up for you in the, in the, the week ahead. Um, just getting that message here to sort of, as I said, be patient, um, moderate, you know, your, your intake with certain things and just make sure that, you know, you stay calm, cool and collected. Now, at the beginning, uh, during the week here, we've got the Eight of uh, Swords. So there is a lot of toxicity surrounding you. And I'm getting a message here. Most of you might be looking at this and it could be um, in, in regard to the workplace. Um, there could be people around you at work who are, you know, not supportive, just, you know, they're just not supportive of you. You know, you are doing what you do really, really well. and and But it's it's sort of doing your head in a little bit because I feel like you're aware of it. But you're inside your head about it and you're sort of, it's stagnating you. It's keeping you um, sort of trapped inside of your own mind and actually not being able to move forward or feel positive when you go to the workplace, <laughs> which is probably why you're actually probably having a few drinks during the week, just to kind of, you know, smooth the edges out, um, which, I, you know, I totally understand. But look, um, you know, only you can work through this. Only you can sort of rise above it. And I feel the way that you're going to sort of get through all of this is to um, focus on your skills, focus on your abilities um, and really nail something in particular. There's, a, there's an essence here of going into uh, the fine print, looking at some detail here about a skill that you need to master, okay, because this is the card of mastery and this is also going to um, bode well for you in terms of um, a promotion um and when i say there's toxicity around you as well this can often indicate as well like if you've got people around you and they're being you know bitchy uh, it's really only because they know that you're a leader and they know that you have leadership qualities and you're actually very good at what you do and so it's really coming just from a place of jealousy i think um i know this is a bit random than what i'm saying but it's just yeah it's just what i'm seeing so um in order to sort of rise above that situation and rise above the, the negative Nancy's, um, it's a time for you here to sort of focus in on a particular skill and master that because that will then see you through uh, to a promotion and then perhaps you won't have to deal with these people anymore or you might end up becoming their boss, which, you know, karma's a bitch. 
The reason why I say that is because you've got your overarching energy here as the Queen of Wands. She is a leader. She is uh, somebody here who is in control. This is Leo energy as well. So I feel like this week as well, you are going to be in the spotlight. There is going to be um, an energy here for you, Aries, where you know the focus is on you. Um, but there's a clarifier here of the King of Cups. So again, it's about mastering your emotions and making sure that, you know, you still provide for your family. You still are, you know, you've got your feet on the ground, even though things are probably a little bit emotional. King and the Queen together can also indicate a power couple. So if you have a water sign at work or a water sign for a boss, this could be an indication here that, you know, this person has been uh, admiring your work, actually looking at how they can integrate you more and how they can um, work with you. Um, when you actually um, get that promotion or step into um, a new arena in the workplace. So this is sort of a bit, I guess, at the end of the day, a little bit of a career reading for you, uh, Aries. And I said, it is your season, so you're always going to um, attract opportunity when it is your season in the Zodiac. So it's going to be a really good week for you. I know, as I said, try not to let uh, the, the bastards get you down, but, you know, just brush it off, dust yourself off, focus on what you need to focus on, which is furthering yourself. Um, and you'll be fine. So guys, I hope you found this uh, reading helpful and you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you'd like to learn tarot, um, I've got a couple of courses that I've been putting together. They're super different. They're not like boring, you know, card for card and, you know, all this kind of stuff that you might see on YouTube or reading books and da I've kind of done all the hard work for you. I've been reading tarot for ages. And um, I can teach you in a really fun and interesting way. Uh, I need to promote it a lot more because obviously people don't know who I am or, you know, what I've got to offer. Um, but I can assure you, if you are interested, check out my website below, newangeltarot.com. Um, so if you're a beginner, there's a six-week course. It's jam-packed and you'll come out of it really confident. It's super affordable. It's only $300 for six weeks. It's one hour a week. It's live in person with me uh, and I'll take you through every step of the way. There's also an advanced course there for only three weeks, um, and that's if you want a little bit of a taste tester on some other things that you may have wanted to investigate in, in your, you know, in your learnings before, but just want to really dive in, um, in you know, in a really intense way um, in a very short period of time. And that touches on astrology, numerology, and a little bit of the Kabbalah. If you'd also like a personal reading, you can do that as well. You, everything's in the website below. You can book um, and what have you um so just go check it out there's a bit of things you can read about me as well so aries hope you have a great week thank you so much for watching and i appreciate all your likes comments and subscribes and i will see you next week bye aries